We should all go and talk to this for a while longer. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> uh, over the years, actually, the recent days, weeks, really, um, <laughs> it's, become, it's become increasingly apparent that a lot of the things I say really aren't that funny. <laughs> it got to the point where I noticed that. You know, I, would it, I would say it, and I'm like, yeah, that was good, that was good. And no one would laugh, I'm just like, oh, they just don't get my humor. But then it got to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't get my humor. <laughs> and that's where you know you're like, you're like going off the edge, guys. Like when you don't understand why you say things to make yourself laugh. <laughs> That's the low point of life, guys. That's a terrible point of life. Um, the reason why I know I'm not really funny. <laughs> See, this joke would have worked if you guys weren't laughing, because then I would say, because you guys aren't laughing, that's why it's apparent. But now you're laughing to back me up, and now the joke's gonna fail. <laughs> oh I'm gonna try random shit and see if that laughs. She does everything that she does to help me, and uh, she's looking for a new job one uh, one day, a couple of years back. And uh, she was, really, you know, the economy was tough; it was hard to find jobs. And she, she found an interview in uh, Compton. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I want to give you guys a picture, guys. Um, imagine a sweet little old Asian lady. Oh, she's not old. She killed me. <laughs> um, she's about 27 years old. Uh, <laughs> going on 15 years. Um, <laughs> she has an interview, I don't know for what, but uh, she has me come along because we're going to have dinner or something afterwards. It's going to be really nice. But uh, while the interview's on, she's like, here, I'll, I'll drop you off somewhere so we can do homework. I was like, please don't. Like, take me with you. <laughs> and she's like, no, you'll be fine. And we find the nearest Starbucks. And then she dropped me off there. She's like, okay, I'll see you in like an hour. And I'm like, maybe. <laughs> and I'm, 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 just, I'm cracking my pants. I mean, there's nothing different about this Starbucks. I mean, there's like seven more security cameras, <laughs> bars, like on the windows. Like, you know, like the little like, produce section with the refrigerator where you can like just reach in and take it? They have like a, like, a lock on that. Um, I was, it was really impressive. Uh, and so I was like, okay, you know, not too bad. And so, you know, I decided to take a corner seat, kind of hide myself away, make myself not too readily apparent. And I'm doing my homework, and uh, these group of guys come in, and I'm uh, like, oh man, I mean some shady looking guys. One of them is wearing, I kid you not, one of those things you put on your fist. Brass like, knuckles. There you go, brass knuckles. <laughs> I know why they call it brass knuckles, because it looks like it's gonna hurt when you get hit by it. <laughs> um, Wearing brass knuckle, they look really mean. None of them are smiling. They aren't like talking to each other. They're just walking in a like uniform group. And then all of a sudden, they look at me. I'm like, oh my god, this is it, guys. And then they turn away. I was fine. Woo! And then I felt like if I said one thing off, you know, if I just like talked, I I, I may get beat up. And obviously, you guys know I'm not a fighter. I really am not. And uh, one guy walks out of the group to the, to the, to the server, and she says, hey, can I get a caramel macchiato? Like with? And I'm sitting there like, you don't seem like a lightweight kind of guy. And he looks at me. I'm watching him eating. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You don't need you. You look good. And I'm standing there for like five minutes talking to this guy. He's actually a really nice guy. Yeah. We talk about the battle for a while. It's playing on the radio. Um, we were talking about like the free, like the free little app you get for Starbucks nowadays. 
we actually had a really good conversation. I actually asked him to help me on my homework. And it worked really well. Anyway, I didn't really have a punchline. I told you guys. <laughs> <laughs>